it out into dense fog. Since buying Madrigal two years ago, the wife and I had yet to release the lines and sailor across Lake Ontario, so we found the perfect week, packed up the boat, and headed out. So pretty typical of Lake Ontario, the wind was going a southwesterly direction, so it gave us a great opportunity to try out our new auto home considering we're sailing close hauled about 10 degrees off of our final destination. Uh, so we hooked it up and actually it certainly helped add a lot of pleasure to the day. Uh, certainly was a great success and really glad to have it on board. So after 32 nautical miles of sailing, we arrived in Alcott, New York. Uh, we checked into U.S. Customs via video phone that's at the New Fane Marina. Uh, as we returned to Madrigal, we kindly raised our American flag. So the Alcott, New York Harbor is a very serene and picturesque type setting. There's a few different places we could have tied up the boat, so we decided to go a little further down the inlet to the New Fane Marina. Our reviews are it was very well kept. Uh, the dock slips aren't marked very well to be seen from the water, but uh, the marina itself was very helpful in finding us a place to stay for two days. The facilities were in excellent condition, practically brand new, and the town itself uh, had a few things to walk around and check out, including some nice little shops on the lakefront. Aside from that, it was uh, more or less just a nice quiet place to go relax for a few days. Ah, who am I kidding? Of course, it didn't take me very long after getting the lines tied off and relaxed before I found another task to do aboard Madrigal. Considering we just used the auto tiller for the first time, it brought to realization we wanted a nice safe place to store it that's also accessible when we're underway and want to use it. So I was able to utilize some space we had under our port side lazarette lid using an old fire extinguisher mounting bracket we had aboard Madrigal. I was able to secure it to the lid and use some uh, velcro straps we had aboard to help secure it well in place if we're not using it. So far it works great, it holds it nice and secure and we've been in some pretty rough conditions since, so overall very happy with it. So the trip was going great until the first morning uh, we woke up at Alcott. I took Chanel for a walk and she happened to fall and hurt her hind leg. So we gave it an extra day and uh, waited it out to see if it got any better because she wasn't able to put any weight on it and sure enough she still wasn't after 24 hours. So we decided to hightail it back across Lake Ontario and uh, take her to our vet. Uh, to find out what exactly the extent of the damage was.
managed to tear her cranial cruciatic ligament, CCL, something like that. So we sailed home after 24 hours of her not putting any weight on it and managed to get in to see the vet late last night. We got home about midnight. Fortunately, the vet is uh, only about 20 minutes from home. So the nice thing was we got to sleep in our big, comfortable, non bee birth bed last night. And we went out today and got this really cool puppy carrier, which she's just learning to adjust to. She's not liking 